All right, Linux Regal Athena X2, understanding your desktop and multitasking. First thing to note on the desktop, this is called Conky. All it does is it tells you on the top here is info about the build, and then what kernel you're running, date and time, info about the processor, about how much is being used where, how much RAM, hard drive space, and then there'll be a wired and probably a Wi-Fi section to show you how much internet is being used. Shutdown is here, and same with restart. If you click that, restarts in it as well. Logout is here. This right here is called the Fusion icon. If you right-click it, you have the ability to select either Compiz, Metacity, or Kwin. The Kwin is default for our clients. There's a good reason for that. This is your uh, icon for your internet. If you left click it, any Wi-Fi that you have will show up in the list. And then all you do is just choose that, that Wi-Fi or the SSID and then enter your password and away you go. Edit connection and connection information is there. It shows you info about your connection. Sound control is here. Calendar self-explanatory uh, this is the system monitor shows you detailed info about the system process is running and the ability to end a process that's not responding and resources tells you how much of what's being used and where synaptic package managers for your updates which we've covered in another video calculator self-explanatory Team viewers for your remote assistance. Use this in order for me to help you remotely with any issues. And then you get Firefox and Chrome as your default web browsers to choose which one you want. Places is where all your personal folders are located. Split up into self-explanatory categories. They also are all located in the home folder, just like so. Your menu, split up into self-explanatory categories. Simple to use. Office products are in Office. Everything that you see here is pre-included with this build. All your video makers and DVD makers and movie makers and movie players are all in there. Software Center is where you install additional software for absolutely free. One thing to note about this, never use the upgrade section. Always use the Synaptic Package Manager for installing upgrades. Okay, so you just click on repositories. It's split up into self-explanatory categories. Anything in here, and there are thousands of apps to choose from, can be installed for absolute free. The point to this operating system is never have to pay for software again. There is no need of antivirus. There is no need for maintenance. There is no need for any of that. That is a Windows thing. Run just gives you the option to run a program. If you knew the name of it, you could just type it in there and run it. It's really more uh, convenience in case something along here quits working. Things to note about this. Preferences, system settings, advanced settings, and KDE system settings. We've covered this in another video. administration users and groups are done there adding additional users or groups is very simple just click add and then changing your account type or permissions very simple you can change your password change your name whatever pretty straightforward on the rest of it recent documents will show up here okay now let's call the multi or cover multitasking real quick we all have several windows open at one time as we work. The first thing to note is any open windows show up on the top bar with a white dot above them. This indicates that there it's an open window and it's currently in use. Everything that you open will show up there with a white dot above it. And if simply clicking on it will take you right back to it. With this one if you have multiple windows set up at one time, they actually show up in a row, and then you just click on the one you want. Just like that.
and that's all there is to it. Okay, now another feature built in, and this is why we use KWIN for our clients, Control Z, that's Control Z, use the left control and Z at the same time, brings up the windows side by side, then you simply choose the one you want. Again, that is your CTRL and Z at the same time. Use the left control, control Z. Just like that. Changing backgrounds is very simple. There are built-in ones. You right-click in the middle of the desktop, change desktop background, choose any of these, or any of them that you have that you want to add, simply just right click the picture and select set as desktop background. Once you, well you open it and then right click it, set as desktop background. 